for so long when you go through school, you're kind of trying to work out who you are and what you are and what you're interested in, that you, when you come out of the schooling system, quite often that a lot of young people haven't been able to understand what they're truly passionate about. And um, we see it a lot, and a lot of research shows that young people can come out of the schooling system at a bit of a disadvantage with understanding that. And so one of our biggest um, agendas and what we really advocate at Year 13 is understanding what you are truly passionate about and then using that as a kind of the platform to then move into further education and employment. A, a big trend that we're seeing now is, is taking a gap year um, and a gap year doesn't have like a, a defined definition. It's not, it's, it's not just going off and working overseas or going over and working in, a, um, you know, in, in boarding houses in the UK. It's taking a year off to really understand yourself. So whether that's going into working in hospitality, whether it's doing a traineeship or going into vocational education, um, a lot of young people are now starting to see the value of, of taking the time off before making that next decision. I think one of the, the issues that does plague a lot of young people is the idea that you're meant to know exactly what to do when you finish school. And so, you know, a lot of research kind of backs this up, that the, the benefits of taking that, year, that, that time in terms of personal development, in terms of building networks, in terms of that self-discovery. Um, you know, there's university research has shown the, the benefits of taking a gap year. So um, that's one of the, the big trends. Uh, we're seeing a lot of people go into a lot of vocational education and there's a real trend as well. So I think um, we're seeing a rise. It's not just black and white anymore. There's not one pathway or the other. There is a, kind of a, a number of different journeys there for, for people. I think one of the big issues is that, you know, and it, and it kind of stems from the idea of, of you know, the idea of year 12 is the, the most important year of your life and these exams can be the most important years and defining years when it's just not true. I think one of the issues that plague a lot of young people is that they're meant to know exactly who they are and what they are upon finishing school and unfortunately it's just not the case. All you've known for really 13 years is, is kind of the system of school and what your parents or, or what your, your, your friends or maybe old, older siblings do and so you haven't really seen the world and, and the opportunities that it does present you and so you know quite often you see people who, who start off at one point and they realise it just, it's just not for them and it, it'll take them down a, a tangent and so um, that's that, that's something which I think as soon as you can be, become more aware of that, that you know, that it's not there's not an answer there for you. Lives change, ambitions change, people's perspectives change. So as soon as you can understand that, it, the ultimately the, the more happy you can be. You, you can say like, don't stress about it, but obviously stress is probably one of the the, the biggest emotions that young people or the students who have just got ATARs they experience, and so. Um, my biggest piece of advice is to really look at what you are motivated by and what you find interesting. You know, what, what, what compels you is, is makes you makes you unique. And there, as soon as you can identify that, and as soon as you can see that, you start to work with like-minded individuals. And when you're working with like-minded people, it fills you up. You start to kind of produce better work. You find more interest. You build different networks. So. Um, I think that identification is really, really important. You know, when, you, when you boil back, we are all intrinsically motivated by something. So as soon as you can, you can identify that, the, the, the stress goes out of it and uh, the, the better you can be. We, we get a, um, a, a heap of parents coming through. Um, we do a lot of research into, into parents as well um, with their understanding of this kind of new like this industrial revolution, this fourth revolution that we're going through. Um, I think it's, it's very well known of the impact of digital, the digital age that we're going into and the role of technology. So parents are coming now, they're as, as confused as a lot of young people are. And so our biggest thing is, is having parents a part of this whole transitional process. Um, we know that parents are still the biggest influencers when it comes to post-schooling decisions and, and education and employment. So, you know, the same advice that we give you know, a young person that comes through to us is the same advice we give to a parent. I think as soon as you can help identify that idea of what they're intrinsically motivated by and what they're passionate about and use that as the kind of foundations, means parents are involved with the conversation, means the children are involved with the conversation, and then together they're actually deciding rather than it being what do you want to do? Why don't you know? You know, we, you, you can't just be budging around. It's they really are a big part of it, and, and parents are starting to be, kind of wake up to that.